reverse engineering can always be interesting. You lay out something, this one I have a grid pattern laid out here and it may not film that good. Uh, in this case it's uh, for a bell housing. And we've got the crankshaft, we got pins, we got all these different numbers. So it's going to either be decimal inches or fractions. Well, some of the numbers are like 900 thousandths, 550, and then others ones are sixteenths, thirty seconds, sixty fourths. And I finally figured out the really missing ones is like this one, it's 14.963. It's actually 14.9 plus a sixteenth. Somehow the two engineers, one of them's doing decimal hundredths and the other one's doing fractions and they added the numbers together. Depending on which side they're coming from for reference. So it's kind of wacky, but you got to keep an open mind when you're trying to reverse engineer this stuff.